Hey, it's Monday. Time for voiceover body shop. And our guest tonight is our good buddy, Mark Cashman. Yay. We got lots of stuff. You got a question for him. Throw it in our chat room, either in Facebook or on our website or wherever you want, you know, or just yell it with smoke signals. Coming up here on voiceover body shop right now. Two men, twin sons from different mothers with a passion for voiceover recording technology and the desire to make recording easy for voice actors everywhere. Together, in one place. George Whittem, the home studio engineer to the stars, a Virginia Tech grad with an unmatched knowledge of all the latest gear and technology in voiceover today. Dan Leonard, the home studio master, a voice actor with over 30 years experience in broadcasting and recording, and a no-holds-barred, myth-busting attitude for teaching you how easy it is, together, to bring you all the latest technology, today's voiceover superstars, and leading the discussion on how to make the most of your voiceover business. This is VoiceOver Body Shop. VoiceOver Body Shop is brought to you by VoiceOverEssentials.com, home of Harlan Hogan's signature products. Source elements, remote connections made even easier. VO2GoGo.com, everything you need to be a successful voiceover artist. J. Michael Collins Demos, award-winning demo production. VoiceActorWebsites.com, where your voiceover website won't be a pain in the butt. And VoiceOver Extra, your daily resource for VO success. And now, live from their super secret multimedia studio in Sherman Oaks, California, here are George Whittem and Dan Leonard. Hey there, I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver Body Shop. Or VO. B.S. Well, all right. Welcome back to our live show here. And uh, boy, you know, we you know, watched the Super Bowl yesterday. I've been in L.A. for three years now. What I, was that game you're talking about? I, it was some the Super superb Bowl. Superb yeah. Owl? Yes, whatever the it was. Superb Owl. Owl. Oh, you've been watching Jeopardy, too. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Our, of course, congratulations to Sue, our technical director, for... Uh, for doing absolutely nothing. nothing. Just happening to be from the from same town as from the From Boston, yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> I've seen... I've, I've been here in L.A. for two, three years now, and I've seen the Dodgers lose two World Series and the Rams lose... It's like being home in Buffalo. It's like... <laughs> I haven't left. I can't say it anymore because now the Eagles actually did win a Super Bowl, and I'm still pinching myself because it feels like that can't be true. I know. Well, <laughs> we've got a great guest tonight. Mark Cashman's going to join us. If you've got a question at any time and you're in our chat room, which you should be, uh, throw it in there. And uh, Mike Merlino is our chat room guy tonight, and he will throw it to us. And uh, so let's get things on the road here. Let's do it. All right. Well, let's introduce our guest. Uh, Mark Cashman is one of the few people in commercial production business that's on both sides of the glass. An award-winning radio and TV commercial producer, as well as a working voice actor and author, and just a good guy. Welcome to our show, Mark Cashman. Yay. Yeah. yeah, Mark, Thank welcome you. to the show. Thank you, George. How you doing? How you Thank doing? you so much for inviting me. This is the coolest ever. Ever? Love, ever. Oh. I love this place. You, 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 you keep on making it better and better every time I come here. It's, it's a work in progress. Just come once a year and you'll, you'll, you'll see the progress. Yeah. Yeah. Don't we'll come have, more often than that. We'll have that. a buffet okay. here next year. It'll be, it'll be really something. We <laughs> do have beer now, though. There is oh. a beer dispenser. Ooh, yeah. we'll you're you kidding. Later. No, yeah. we've got everything. Oh, that is so cool. Modern, yeah. modern place. So I'll wait. I'll hold off. Okay. okay. All right. So what you been up to? About 5'8". <laughs> You're not quite. No, no, no. <laughs> that number's uh, not going uh, up. Yeah, okay, right, right. <laughs> no, I'm up to about I don't know two quarts a day. Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, we're we're here all week. Try the veal. Uh, it's uh, no. I've been. I've just been doing what I normally do, and I just keep on doing that for some strange reason. Which I, is which is all, well, all these things that I mentioned. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm still. Writing and producing and casting commercials. I'm still teaching. Uh, I'm still writing. I'm still uh, public speaking, and um, and so just the juggling those four things is 
uh, it's keeping yeah. me out of trouble mm-hmm. is really uh, okay. what it comes down. And what kind of trouble yeah. could you possibly get I, into? You know, don't even ask. Not, don't even go we, there. We that, won't that, go there. That, that, that's perfectly fine. But but uh, other than that, yeah, no, I've been very, very busy and um, and having a good time doing it, which is, that's that, that's the whole point, is right. it not? Right. And, um, and, and, and planning a lot, do, do, uh, not just sitting on my laurels and doing the same thing. I've been planning, I've been doing some new things. For instance, I was just talking to you earlier mm-hmm. about um, the fact that I'm actually starting to do what you and George have been doing for the past eight years. And I'm bringing uh, 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 cameras. I brought cameras into the studio that I work out of in uh, in Burbank, California. So now people, when they, if they want to audit one of my classes and be a literal fly on the wall, they can, no matter where they, they don't have to live in or near LA. Yeah. Now the people who do live in or near LA can still come in, come by and mm-hmm. sit in and, and see what's going on. But now with the cameras, we're getting, we're working that out. We're beta testing it and just trying to make, make it really, really a, a great experience for people who don't know what it's like to be in a studio. It's going perfectly smoothly. I'm sure everything worked the first try. And it's yes. required no learning curve. No learning it's curve. Been a piece was, of cake. Absolutely. I mean, that's been everything our went off without a hitch the first time. And if you believe that, I got some real estate to sell you in <laughs> in the Galapagos somewhere. It's a worthy endeavor though. Absolutely. Yeah, to be able to reach way more people and help a lot more people. Absolutely. Plus you guys have had eight years to, to tweak it. You know, I mean yeah. uh, so yeah. so yes, yeah, so we, we just, never stop. This, <laughs> this week. So yeah, so we're just getting started and uh, and, and we're just tweaking it and seeing how it goes but i'm really excited because it's something new and and i'm offering uh, again just some more things that that people can get out of the experience and and you know truthfully this is one of the reasons that i offer audits to begin with is because i want people to get a taste of what it's like to see what it's like and not have to invest a whole lot of time and money to see that they may not like it that's yeah, right. Or it no, may not absolutely. be for them. Why well, you audit any class? Yeah. Absolutely, and and in fact, I do. I, I I suggest people if you're thinking of taking anything, whether it's acting classes, uh, voiceover, improv, uh, swimming, it doesn't matter what. If you can audit a class, you do it. Right. Because this way, you get to taste it. It's like you know going to a salad bar. You taste it. You see if you like it. If you don't like it, you spin it out. Right. You know. So when you audit a swim class, do you have to wear a bathing suit? <laughs> I would. Well. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's it's. it's I, I'm going to have to. That's that's a good yeah. question. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. So the, just to feel like you're part of the group, right? right. Maybe you're just splashing yeah. the water on your face. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah. now if yeah. someone's auditing it and they decide they don't like it, they can leave, and you're not going to be insulted because you're not going to see them like picking themselves that's up and walking exactly out of the right. room. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So one of the things that I've been I've been paying attention to because I pay attention to a lot of things, probably more things than I should. Um, I noticed that you've been publishing your 365 voiceover tips, yeah. so one per day. How did you start doing that? And give us an example of some my, of those. I started doing it when I was talking to my daughter, uh, a, a 24-year-old millennial, which is Department of Redundancy Department. But <laughs> um, uh, uh, we were talking about uh, uh, having a web presence. And she said, Dad, if you want to have a web presence, you've got to be online consistently and have something and, and have content. And I said, hmm, online consistently have content. Okay. Uh, so I said, okay, let me just start small. I said, okay, I'm going to do 10 voiceover tips over 10 days. Yeah. And I did that. And I did it consistently for 10 days on LinkedIn, Facebook, and a whole bunch of Facebook pages, uh, Twitter. So those three things, yep. which I knew. Mm-hmm. Then around eight, around, I started getting feedback by around like six, seven, eight. And people start saying, hey, these are great. Why don't you do more? And I said, okay. So I expanded it to 20. And then I got good more feedback. And I said, hmm, okay. So I just kept on going. You had the ball rolling. Yeah. You had, had the ball you had, rolling. You had a system in place. And, and then I, I realized, oh, my God, I'm in it. <laughs> I'm right, in right. It. in it now. I'm in it Up now. To your neck is... And I said, okay, so what am I going to, where am I taking this? Am I going to do 20? Am I going to do 30? Am I going to do 50? Am I going to do 100? Well, then I decided to challenge myself mm-hmm. and said, okay, do you know enough to do 365 tips, one a day, wow. every day? For an entire year, and not just changing the sentence structure. That's exactly of another right. Tip, That's so it's exactly just... right. 
<laughs> it had to be distinctly yeah. different. Yeah. And I said that, and that was my challenge. I set my challenge up for myself and pulled it off amazingly. I also had wonderful, wonderful help uh, 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 from um, uh, a couple of uh, uh, people, voice actors, who asked if they could create uh, uh, graphics to accompany the, uh, you know, the, the tips. Yeah. And, um, and, and so that really, really helped, helped do it. Uh, Natasha, uh, Natasha Marchevka, uh, one of my colleagues, uh, she did about 200, the last 200, 265. And, and, and I'm wow. blanking on the, the, the wonderful lady who helped me do the first hundred I'm just totally blanking and I totally apologize. But but both of these wonderful uh, uh, women helped me really package these yeah. these auditions. I mean these these tips. Yeah. And um and so I I just, in terms of the day that I started it, I just did it 365 days from that point. And then I think it was like mid it's 2019. So mid 2018 is when I finished. And then I decided, okay, I'm going to do it again, but I'll start on January 1st. Yeah. yeah. And that way I could do right. three and yeah. that keeps track. Yeah. So give us an example of, of a couple of these. Like, what's okay. today's? January, okay. whatever what's it is. What's today's? Today's? Next, oh, oh, it's February, February already. already. Yes, it's February. That's right. February 4th, 4th. already. Yeah. I, exactly. Uh, it was a quote from, uh, 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 inspired by Dawes Butler. Okay. And for those of you who don't know Dawes Butler, Dawes Butler was basically Mel Blanc's counterpart. Right at uh, Hanna Barbera, so uh, uh, Mel was with Warner Brothers. Uh, uh, Dawes was with uh, Hanna Barbera, but but Dawes did almost as many voices as right. as Mel did. And um, Mel uh, uh, Dawes said, um, uh, "Fall uh, fall in love with the word, uh, f love the words, but don't fall in love with them." And the 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 whole tip was basically um, was. Um, Color your words right. when you have the opportunity. And when I talk about coloring words, I many, many times will say that when you're coloring words and you're talking to your peers, that those colors need to be in shades, pastels, watercolors, colored pencils. Mm -hmm. That's the color you're using for your peers, your colleagues, adults. Right. And the only time that you'll change that get broader, get more vibrant with your colors, more, more d day glow and, and finger paints is when you're talking to toddlers. That's right. Exactly. You see, that's exactly it. Yeah. That's it. So you can go get bigger, broader, over the top with toddlers, but that's pretty much about it. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's just one, one of the many, many tips. Um, I'm totally, completely blanking on 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 any of them any of the other ones right now but um but i now i've added instagram mm -hmm. here's 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 how much i knew about instagram you can't miss him <laughs> well you're out there somewhere it, i it's what's what's wild is uh, so my my daughter said dad you have to add instagram to your to, to the tips and there insta what said, <laughs> and i said no 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 i at least knew what it was so i went online to get you know, and, and to instagram and i couldn't figure out how to post from my computer Oh yeah. Ah, uh, easy from your phone. That's but. not easy. It's the only thing. That's the only way you can post on Instagram is right. from your phone, not your computer. Which yeah. I found out very, very quickly. So she, I got the learning curve on that one real quick. So yeah. now at least I'm somewhat up to speed. At least okay. I, I hope. That, well, that's good. Yeah. If you're just joining us, our guest. Is Mark Cashman. There he is right there. Uh, if you've got a question for Mark, throw it in our chat room right now, and we'll try and get to that question sometime Absolutely. in the next uh, half hour or so. We also have the Zoom room running. And the Zoom room is running. It's okay. in there. Yeah. So we'll okay. be able to take an actual live voice oh, very cool. question. Very, very cool. Okay, very cool. That's it's great. fun That's of great. live broadcasting. Yes. Um, so uh, one of the other things that that you do, I mean, in your coaching, mm -hmm. I mean, you're you're constantly giving people advice, you're directing people, you're teaching them how to be better voice actors and stuff. But really, uh, the, the question is, is a lot of people ask about what mistakes they make. I mean, people want to do the right thing. I think probably the best way to do the right thing is to learn all the things that you shouldn't be doing. That's what, part what, of it. What are some of the biggest mistakes you find? Because I know you audition people and you're teaching people mm -hmm. all the time. What is it something you find that most people make the most mistakes on? I would say probably the, the most common mistake is, is the fact that um, uh, they're reading every single word and punctuation mark as if it were engraved in stone. 
Yes. And I keep reminding people, I said, this is ad copy, not Shakespeare. And so basically you have to, the people who can pull off commercial copy uh, the best are actors who understand improv and ad lib. Absolutely. And basically uh, so, so that uh, you can, you can take a script and, um, uh, and, and, and make it become much more conversational when you, again, understand that you don't have to cue to every single word and punctuation mark in that in that copy. Right. But I think people fear doing that. They don't want to yeah, insult the writer and stuff like that. And that's you just know. it. You don't have to insult the writer. You you want to honor what the writer wrote, always. What, what You want to do that. But at the same time, um, for instance, I know people who will read, again, every single word on that page, even if it's wrong, even if it's grammatically incorrect, they'll still read Never it. seen that before. Yes, <laughs> I know. I call those people voiceover lemmings. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. And, and so basically, again, I, I, I encourage people to think outside the box, to have the, the, uh, the balls, the, the temerity uh, uh, to change things if they need it and, um, and just not be a, a lemming. Yeah. In, in that regard. Don't follow and, the crowd. And, and don't be afraid to enhance the copy a little bit, embellish the copy, and of course take things out that you know are absolutely wrong. That's crazy. Why would you do that? The name you've been looking for searching the back of your mind was Lisa Rice. Thank you so much, Natasha, Lisa Rice. My apologies. Absolutely. Lady. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, and again, Lisa and, and Natasha both put together so many wonderful they, they just every single one is different. It's interesting. It's fun. It's it's and it, and it's so much compliments what I wrote. I I can't even begin to tell you. So thank you, Lisa. And I mm -hmm. my apologies. She's great. I've worked with her. Yes, I wonderful. Have, I have too. Wonderful. Speak wonderful. to her fairly real. Oh, thank you. Met her it's, like at the at my the, brain. I've been losing brain cells just a little bit each. Met day, her so. before there were voice conferences. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, a long time ago. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, once again, Mark Cashman is our guest. Now, as a coach, we see a lot of coaches out there, maybe way too many. Now, someone like you who's been in the trenches and been doing this an entire career, we know you know what you're doing. Uh, but when should people start to look for a coach? I mean, obviously, when they're starting out, it's good to find one. Oh, yeah. But should a coach definitely take somebody on just because they want to? And and what should someone look for in a coach, aside from the spelling of your name? <laughs> um, what should they look for? Well, first of all, you know, we were talking about uh, uh, auditing before. Right. And I and I always uh, suggest uh, that, that people try to audit uh, at least, you know, he... <sighs> the most important thing is to do your homework. Absolutely. Do your homework, do your research, and find out about the person that you're thinking of, of working with. Do they have, have they been doing this a long time? Um, uh, do, do they know what they're doing? You know, what, what's their body of work? Do they have uh, uh, testimonials and, and people who are vouching for them? Um, uh, are they, again, well-known in the industry and, 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 and respected in the industry? Um, and... You know, I always say the best actors never stop learning. So you can take on a coach no matter what. Now, I, I work with people who say, uh, from beginners to veterans. I'll, I'll, I'll work with veterans who say, I used to book all the time, make six figures, seven figures, not a problem, and now I can't get arrested. What am I doing wrong? So sometimes we have that. Some people say, hey, I, I want to get started with a coach. Um, I work better with a one-to-one -one than in classes. And everybody works differently there too. So, so sometimes that will be a reason for you to, for you to pick a coach. Uh, other times uh, you might say, hey, my agent dropped me. Um, maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. Um, or uh, I've been struggling with this particular genre of, of voiceover copy th that I really, really want to get into. And I just can't seem to get into the groove and know what I need to know. So there are so, so many reasons to, you know, uh, to have a coach. Um, what people forget is that the best actors in the world have coaches. Meryl Streep has a coach. I'm sure she Daniel Day-Lewis has a coach. Jack Nicholson has a coach. You don't know about these coaches. They're in the background and these, these celebrities are never going to tell you they have coaches. Every single professional in the world, whether it's an actor, singer, athlete, it doesn't matter what, they all have coaches 
top, top coaches. Why? To keep them honed, to keep their skills sharp, to uh, uh, basically so they don't fall back on their laurels and so that they're constantly learning something new and being challenged and just being better. The best actors never stop learning ever. And um, so I couldn't think of a better reason to to have a coach other than the fact that you just want to get better at what you do. Absolutely. No matter where you are. How about Bill Murray? Do you think Bill Murray has a coach? No. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know for sure. My, 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 my sense is probably not. Only because he doesn't he, even have an agent. Yes. You know, he I mean, has can you a, imagine coaching Do you know him? Bill Murray has a 1-800 number? <laughs> are you serious? You want to book Bill Murray? You call him. Call his 1-800 number. Are yeah. you serious? Guy, oh, I love that. Serious. Oh, I yeah, just yeah. love that. Oh, that, <laughs> that's crazy. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And on oh, that note. That does not surprise me at all. Yeah. <laughs> we, I know we got a lot of questions from our audience, and some people actually want to get on Zoom and talk to you and oh, cool. answer those questions. So we've got all that coming up right after these messages. Don't go away. Yep, this is VOBS. Proven anybody can have a show these days. As a voice talent, you have to have a website. But what a hassle getting someone to do it for you. And when they finally do, they break or don't look right on mobile devices. They're not built for marketing and SEO. They're expensive. You have limited or no control. And it takes forever to get one built and go live. So what's the best way to get you online in no time? Go to voiceactorwebsites.com. Like our name implies, voiceactorwebsites.com just does websites for voice actors. We believe in creating fast, mobile-friendly, responsive, highly functional designs that are easy to read and easy to use. You have full control. No need to hire someone every time you want to make a change. And our upfront pricing means you know exactly what your costs are ahead of time. You can get your voiceover website going for as little as $700. So if you want your voice actor website without the hassle of complexity and dealing with too many options, go to voiceactorwebsites.com, where your VO website shouldn't be a pain in the you-know-what. What question do we get most often? Well, far and away, it's, how do I even get started in voiceover? And we have a great answer to that question. Take vo to go gos free Getting Started in VO class. You heard right, it's free, and it's available online 24-7 at gettingstartedinvo.com. That's gettingstartedinvo.com. If you've been watching VOBS and thinking that you need to get in gear and start your own voiceover career, this is the class you should start with. You'll learn about the vocal skills you need, the storytelling skills you need, the equipment you need, and the business skills you need. All in one single comprehensive online class taught by vo to go David H. Lawrence the 17th. This class won the Backstage Reader's Choice Award four years in a row. And again, there's no charge. It's absolutely free. Want to take it? Sure you do. Go to gettingstartedinvo.com. That's gettingstartedinvo.com. Well, hello there. I bet you weren't expecting to hear some big-voiced announcer guy on your new orientation training for Snapchat, were you? This is Virgin Radio. Well, okay, we're not that innocent. There's jeans for wearing and there's jeans for working. Dickies, because I ain't here to look pretty. She's a champion of progressive values, a leader for California, and a voice for America. It's smart. It's a phone. It's a smartphone. But it's so much more. It's a, the files are ready. Don't forget to pick up the eggs. What time is hockey practice? Check out this song. It's the end of the road for Rick. It's just you and me, Rick. When hope is lost. The I-8 from BMW. Who said saving the planet couldn't be stylish? Hey, it's J. Michael Collins. Bet you think I'm going to try and sell you a demo now, huh? I think they speak for themselves. But I will give you my email. It's jmichael at jmcvoiceover.com. Now, if Dan will stop waxing his mustache for a minute, we'll get back to the show. VOBS is still on? Seriously? And we're back! Here on Voice Over Body Shop, we're talking with Mark 
Cashman. Again, if you got a question for him, throw it in the chat room. And uh, I know we've got some people on Zoom that want to ask a question, but the first question we have is from Brigan O'Brien, who apparently is a former student of yours. Yes. Or a current student of yours. And, and, and he, Hopefully current. Co- hopefully current. And, and, and he, <laughs> We're about and, to find out. Right. And he <laughs> says, <laughs> the answer, answer this question. Yes, this is, I'm a beginner in the modern age of voiceover, having worked a bit in the 90s. I coached one-on-one with Mark all last summer. It was transformative. Transformative. Uh, Now I'm auditioning for commercials on pay-to-play sites. (laughs) Haven't booked a gig yet. As a veteran stage actor, I'm used to altering my accent, pitch, breathing, delivery speed, uh, etc. Based on the character. For example, Hamlet doesn't sound anything like King Lear, does he? No. But, okay. That's... All right. If a client doesn't like... My sound, is there any value in playing around with my vocal delivery for these custom demo auditions? Maybe as a second take. We'll leave it at that because this question gets even more detailed than that. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, first of all, uh, trying to please people on the the pay-to-play sites is, is a Sisyphean task. Good luck uh, that uh, I mean, that's yeah. it's just it's ridiculous. For, and and of course, truthfully, I was just telling talk, talking to uh, Dan earlier. Uh, the pay to the P to P sites, the pay to play sites, are I call the blind leading the blind. Nobody knows what the heck they're doing, and heck is the the the, the minimal word that I can possibly use. A small use percentage here, here. Um, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, it, it, you know, here's the bottom line: when a client is listening to your audition on a pay to play site. They're not listening to how great an actor you are, unfortunately. They're listening to your voice print, the actual sound of your voice. And they're listening to see whether that's the sound of your voice matches their product or service. Now, yes, your delivery is certain. It's part and parcel of it. But it's literally the sound of your voice. It's your voice print. And so if it calls for a millennial, a 20-something person, and you're 40-something or 50-something, if you think that you can sound like a millennial, think again. I'm serious. I am absolutely serious. My, one of my agents sends me 20-something stuff all the time. And I spoke to her a few months ago. Same said, here. Why are, why are you sending, sending me this stuff. Yeah. 20-something stuff? I don't sound like a 20-something guy. I teach 20-somethings. I don't sound like a 20 She says, no, no, no. You sound like a 20-something guy. I said, okay, I don't know what you're smoking, but, <laughs> but, but I'm not a 20 some, don't, I do not sound like a 20 something guy. When I was 20 something, I sounded like a 20 something guy, maybe even 30 something, but that's about it. So changing your voice for somebody who doesn't know what the heck they're talking about is crazy. You've got to be yourself. You have got to be yourself. You've got to be authentic. That said, could you pitch your voice up a little bit to sound a little bit younger occasionally? Sure. Could you pitch your voice down a little bit to sound a little bit older? Sure. But it's just increments. It's just little incremental things. So for all intents and purposes, the smartest thing to do is to be yourself. Also, it's a numbers game. Do not forget that. You know how many people audition on a pay-to-play site for every one job? Do you know how many, approximately how many people? You're not going to no. believe this. Over Anywhere 100. from between 200 to 300 people. Right. Minimally. 200 to 300 people. So, that said, you know, it's a numbers game in this particular case. And there are many, 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 many people who uh, don't book for a long, long time before they finally book something and, and, and do that. Uh, in fact, one of Brigham's questions was, should I listen to the people who are booking and try to sound like them? To a certain extent, you can see what they're doing, right? but you're not going to be able to be a voice match or anything like that. You, you're yes. going to be you. Maybe listen to, you know, the spots that are selling. Yes. Right. So you know what's buying. Yes, right. absolutely. That, like, what's don't the try delivery to sound like working. that person. Right. Exactly. Sound... You can't. Right. Unless you're uh, unless you're an impressionist, yeah, right. So match. so for all intents and purposes, yeah, you might listen to the style of delivery that that's that's winning these gigs. Um, and invariably, they're a little bit over the top, or maybe a lot over the top, or just plain cheesy. But um, but they are certainly not subtle, and the and and the buyers on on the pay to play sites are also not subtle. They're <laughs> pretty overt. They're, that's that. I I don't know if I 
answered the question to your satisfaction, but made sense to me. At least, I mean, come on now. Being honest. Yeah. But yeah. that's, that's the way it is. Yeah. Do we want to try and get Raul on here? Ooh. We can give it a stab. Yeah. Or is it Raul or uh, just Raul? Uh, I'm assuming it's Raul. I'm going to unmute his mic and, and we're going to see what happens. We're okay. going to see. And he'll tell us exactly how his to pronounce his name. muted there. I'm surprised yeah. there's no accent over the U. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, Maybe there should be an accent over the U, but we don't still, have that ability on the Chiron to... Yeah. yeah. Raul it. still, I think we've been both clicking the unmute button simultaneously. Uh, isn't like, that interesting? Is that is, like when you is call each other now? and you, and you get a see. busy signal is it, yeah, at the same time? All right. Here, Raul. Okay. Well. Do we have him? Do we? Yeah, let me speak to us, Raul. Give him, get a level. Hi, hi it, it's Raul. Hey. Raul. Okay. Raul. It's working. Okay, All right. Cool. All right. Like Raul, like Raul Julia. Okay. Oh, Raul. cool. You're on the air. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, Mark, how you doing? I'm a character. I'm I'm up and coming of character voiceover uh, newbie. Uh -huh. Can I make it in New York City? Do I have to live in L.A. to be a successful character? No. No, that's the most amazing thing about, you know, now, nowadays, I mean, it used to be you have to live in L.A. Uh, uh, or New York, but now uh, it doesn't matter where you are. If they, if you do an audition and they love your voice and they love your audition, they will, you, all you have to do is walk into a studio in New York City, they'll patch you in and direct you. That's it. Whether it's ISDN, whether it's Hip Diddle, whatever, the Source Connect, it doesn't really matter. They'll find, if they love you, they'll find a studio for you. You walk in there, do your thing, and walk out. Absolutely. You do not have to live in L.A. All right. My, my second uh, two-part question. Do you do workshops or one-on-ones? Both. I do workshops. I do classes. I do one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching. Um, uh, and, and I do various workshops. I'll do commercial workshops, audiobook workshops, animation or video game workshops, uh, which happen a few times throughout the year. But, uh, but yeah, pretty much the whole thing. Okay. Thank you for your time. Hey, Raul, thank you. Thank you. what's your website, man? Yeah. Raul, do you have a website? Are you still with us? Did you leave us? All right, we'll find him somewhere. He's making one right now. Yeah, it's like, oh, shoot. <laughs> He's supposed to have a that, website. That, that's, that's, Darn. That's it. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll do some due diligence there. Yeah. We'll run that down. Yeah. We got a question from Devox, too. Ah. Uh, what are some mistakes that you see more seasoned voice actors make, perhaps from lack of self-awareness or traps they might fall into? And what are some not so obvious ways to address them? <laughs> hmm. That only happens every single day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's funny. I uh, one thing that that a lot of, of, of veteran, uh, no matter what level you're at, but particularly veteran voiceovers, they say they 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 complain to me. They say in the direction it says be conversational, but the copy is not conversational at all. So what do I do with that? And I've got workarounds, I've got tips and tricks and, 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 and techniques to basically figure, to, to help you take clunky copy that you would never say to anybody and actually make it sound conversational. It's, it's funny, in the very beginning, when I first got into this, the, the rule of thumb, and you've probably heard this forever, was in voiceover, you're always talking to one person, that the microphone is somebody's ear. Well. I want to tell you right now, that is a fallacy. That is not the case. Because in voiceover, and particularly commercial voiceover, you're working with copy that nobody would ever say in this lifetime on this planet. <laughs> Except ever. on TV. Except on, well, <laughs> it, exactly. But, but in terms of a realistic conversation, you'd never, you'd never have it. The reason is, is because of the nature of the beast, which is commercial copy. Right. As commercial voice actors, our job is to tout and explain the benefits of a product or a service or an organization. That is our job. That's then the nature of the beast. So when an agency is getting ready to create a spot for a particular client, what do they do? They send the copywriter over to the clients. They sit down and the, and the copywriter says, tell me all about your product or service. And the client says, we want, tell them about this, tell them we do this, tell them we got this, it does this, 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 and this. Copywriter goes back to the office and starts to concoct and make and draw and write a story based on all that information. But a lot of that information is all the stuff about the product, why it's better, why it's greener, why it's cheaper, why it's better designed, why, 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 all this stuff that we talk about. Well, the thing is, you would never, I would never say, George, 
Wait till you see th what what this this aspirin does. It 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 uh, helps you uh, sleep better. It you you look at me like I'm off my meds. You look at me. It would be absolutely crazy. So we'd yeah. never have this conversation. Right. And so that's basically what we have to do with copy when we get it, particularly commercial copy, is we have to frame it. You've got to frame the story. Very 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 important. And if you don't frame it correctly, then all you're going to be doing is reading. And this is basically what I, one of the most important things that I talk about. I make a distinction between voiceover and voice acting. Voiceover is 2.9% APR financing for 60 months on all vehicles in stock. That's voiceover. There's, doesn't, there's no acting involved in that. Right. We want to get into voice acting. And so the only way to get into really to be believable in a story is to frame the story and understand and ask three questions. Who am I? Where am I? And who am I talking to? If you can answer those three questions, you understand the story. And if you can't answer those three questions, you don't understand the story. And my dad always told me, if you don't understand what you're talking about, shut up. Because no one else is going to understand that. That's either. exactly right. Right. Yes. And, and of course, then there is, of course, what I refer to as voice overacting. Yes. Voice <laughs> overacting. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the thing is, is that uh, even today, uh, uh, particularly with video games and character work, you know, Raul was talking about being a character. Uh, if you listen to any video games nowadays, you cannot get into overacting at all. It's got to right. be much more nuanced, much more subtle, much more down to earth. It's not animation. It's video games, which is grittier, darker, more realistic, yeah. and, 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 and uh, just a lot more natural. Yeah. 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 Brian Jester asks. Ah, oh, Brian. Yes. Are you going to be at VO Atlanta this year? I am not, only because I'm very, very busy. I just don't have the time to do it. And Which I, is a good and, thing. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining. But I was there last year, and uh, but uh, I won't be able to make it this year. But uh, Brian, I hope you have a great time. It's the right now the largest uh, voiceover convention in this in the country, and uh, like over 600 people uh, showed up there. So you'll be uh, uh, networking with a ton of people, make a and lot I'm of friends. sure that yeah. a a lot of the people who are going to be speaking there are uh, are going to be really good to 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 attend. Yeah. All right. To have fun. Yeah. Now, one of the things that you've done is you've written this book. Ooh. Yeah. Absolutely. Is it backwards on screen? No, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's, it's there. Okay, it's, a, it's VO. <laughs> the, the yellow seems to be coming it, off a yeah, little bit does, on the, in the does. chroma key it, there. It, but, yes, exactly. It's, okay. yeah, no. it's called VO. Tell us about this book. It's, uh, well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, the reason I came up with the, with the title was um, because as I was teaching my classes and coaching and everything, I would invariably hear the same thing. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I never knew that. <laughs> oh, well, if, if, why didn't anybody tell me that before? So it was just a natural that that uh, I would name it the title it to uh, VO, and um, I'm actually this is the first here. I'm working on my sequel. Ooh. Yes, what's Whoa. the working title? V O A V O M G. <laughs> oh, v O M G. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so um, so that's why I I titled it. Uh, uh, this this way and you know it was really interesting it was uh after i wrote it and 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 got everything down then i had to decide how i was going to design it mm -hmm. and that was really interesting uh, a little process there one of my friends one of my colleagues uh ali k is is an art director a, a graphic designer uh just a, a brilliant brilliant person and and i asked her to help me design the cover so i figured out okay here's what i'm going to do so i first of all i went on amazon and I typed in voiceover books. And of course, if you go on Amazon, you have that the thing you're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. So you have all these books. So I just went boom, boom, boom. And I looked at all the books that popped, all the ones that popped. I said, ooh. And I started finding some very, very, some common things like color mm -hmm. and contrast and mm -hmm. being able to look at a title and instantly get what it right, is. Yeah. yeah. Then I took a, all my voiceover books that I collected over the past 30 years and I put them on a table and I had about 30 of them at least. And I put them all on a table, on a big coffee table. And I put, laid them all out and, and the two of us stood there and said, okay, let's first of all take out all the ones that are just nothing. They, they, they don't look that good. They're, they're, they're boring or whatever it is. Out, 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 out. Okay, now let's take a look at the ones that uh, that 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 really pop when you look at them. You can tell instantly what it is just by glancing at it. 
take that out, 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 out. Then we down, got it down to three. So the three books were, I like this yellow color, but I could, it could be a little bit more vibrant. I like this contrast on this one, but I like to have it just a little bit more. And I like the overall layout of this thing, uh, uh, but, but I'd like to have it just be more pleasing to the eye. And yeah. so by process of elimination, we came up with this and, um, and that's basically how I did it. Process of elimination. Cool. Where yeah. is it available? It is available either on Amazon. You can go directly on Amazon and get it, or, or you can contact me directly and I will send you an autographed, personalized copy. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. And it might take you a little bit longer to get it because Amazon ships it like that. And, uh, and I send it via snail mail, but uh, it's in a nice, you know, padded package. And, and okay, yeah, well, cool. And, 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 and it comes with <laughs> a bookmark, a bookmark, cool. bookmark, get of course. bookmark, mark, yes, yes. Yes. bookmark, okay. yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. That's... Now, one of the other things you do, Natasha yeah. writes, you, you, you do, you have, uh, it's called Audition Aid. Yeah. Tell us about that. Oh, Audition Aid was very, very cool. I, I was really, really happy when, when I came up with that. I call it VO coaching on steroids. So basically, if you've got a, a commercial, a, an audition that is really, let's say it pays $5,000, it's a national commercial, you really, really want to get it. So basically what we do is, is, is we work on one-on-one -on -one coaching on just that spot. 15 minutes or 30 minutes max of concentrated, no, just focus on just that spot alone, that audition alone, so that you know exactly what you're going to do when you get behind the mic to go and, and actually do the audition. So we break down the copy. And the one thing that I always try to do is, is this is my zigzag theory. I always say, if you know everybody's going to zig, how are you going to zag? What are you going to do differently in this audition than anyone else? Hmm. So you try to figure out what everybody else is going to do and then figure out what you're going to do. You're going to bring something different to the table and better, not just different. You'd stand out like a sore thumb and be different. You want to be better, obviously. But basically, so Audition Aid is this concentrated 15 or 30 minute session that just focuses on that one spot, that one audition, and we figure out basically what we're going to bring to the table, what you're going to bring to the table that's going to be different than anybody else, that's going to make the writer say, oh, that guy gets it. Yeah. That guy gets it. And that's basically what, what Audition Aid is all about. And again, it's just, it's done online via Skype, which I do majority of my stuff th uh, through Skype. But now with the, the cameras in the studio, with the auditing, I'm going to be doing Zoom as well. And also my online classes I do through Zoom. So Zoom, Skype, Skype, Zoom, six, one, half dozen, the other. They both have their advantages and disadvantages. Two platforms. Yeah, two platforms. Right. yeah absolutely. What, whatever works for you. Yeah. So thank you, Natasha, for bringing that up. I completely forgot about it. Well, until somebody calls <laughs> until you, somebody, Mark, I need some help with, right. with the yeah. audition. Then exactly. you'll remember about yeah. it. So if people want to get a hold of you, where can they find you? They can find me. Oh, jeez, it's embarrassing. Uh, I mean, if you Google my name, you'll, that'll come up. So all that information will come up. Mark at CashmanCommercials.com. Just like Bill Murray, you know, you just go directly to me. There's no filter. You don't have to talk to a manager or an agent or anything else like that. Um, and, um, and my site is cashmancommercials.com. If you feel like going there and just listening to stuff and there's a lot of, there's so much stuff on the website. It's just insane. It's embarrassing, <laughs> but, 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 but there's, I mean, it's, it's not superfluous stuff. It's, it's all legitimate stuff. It, um, uh, a lot of my commercials uh, are, are on there, uh, uh, music, copy, uh, combination of both. Um, so, and demos, oh, that's it. VO demos are on my website because I produce demos for my students. So if you are thinking of doing a demo, but you're not sure about what the, 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 the template is or, or what the best practice is, basically what a demo should sound like, go to my site, click on the button that says VO demos. And you'll hear demos that I've done for my students. And that'll be a good template as to what you need to do, what your demo is going to ultimately sound like. Outstanding. Yeah. Mark, it is always a pleasure. Dan. Having you here in our secret across. little... Uh, our little secret Thanks clubhouse here. Canoe and I, this rowing is, over this here. is the best. You know, it's funny. When we were kids, we did. We had the clubhouse. Right. And now we're big kids. And now we have a big clubhouse. A, and a much and better we're, clubhouse. And, we're and you know what I realized? We're still doing 
what we did when we were kids. On Saturday morning, I know that tons of, of, of voice actors out there are going to relate to this. Saturday morning, we got together with our friends and said, let's put on a play. Let's do a show. Let's put on a play. Let's do a show. Let's put something on. And we're still doing it. That's the most, that is the coolest thing yeah. ever. Only we're actually doing it. With that's exactly. Actual cameras. We're really doing that. Exactly. We're, we're, well, because we're adults now. Uh, we don't have the cardboard actually, box right. with the, yeah. You know, bigger the boys, the bigger the toys. Now. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thanks for being with us, Mark. Thank you, Dan. A pleasure. Thank All you. right. We'll be right back. Hey, it's time to talk about. Harlan Hogan's voiceoveressentials.com. And Harlan is about to do the second reorder of the multicolor LED voiceover recording with remote sign. It's a huge success. Everybody loves these things. And they're offering a discount to owners of the original fluorescent sign as replacement tubes, as you know, are kind of difficult to find. LEDs pretty much last forever. Uh, you want details on how to get that special discount? Write to Terry at terry.lee at voiceoveressentials.com. That's terry.lee at voiceoveressentials.com. She'll give you all the details on how to get that. By the way, Voice Over Essentials stocks replacement ear pads now for the Harlan Hogan Signature Series Voice Optimized Headphones Versions 1 and 2. It's got Nappa leather and memory foam OEM pads. So go over to voiceoveressentials.com. Best place to go, go to the bottom of our website page. It's right down there. Click on the picture of Harlan Hogan, and it will take you right there where you can order all of these stuff, especially the sign, which everybody wants. Your dynamic voiceover career requires extra resources to keep moving ahead. Now there's one place where you can explore everything the voiceover industry has to offer. That place is voiceoverextra.com. Whether you're just exploring a voiceover career or a seasoned veteran ready to reach that next professional level, stay in touch with market trends, coaching, products and services while avoiding scams and other pitfalls. Voiceover Extra has hundreds of articles, free resources and training that will save you time and help you succeed. Learn from the most respected talents, coaches, and industry insiders when you join the online sessions bringing you the most current information on topics like audiobooks, auditioning, casting, home studio setup and equipment, marketing, performance techniques, and much more. It's time to hit your one-stop daily resource for voiceover success. Sign up for a free subscription to newsletters and reports and get 14 bonus reports on how to ace the voiceover audition. It's all here at voiceoverextra.com. That's voiceoverxtra.com. <laughs> I'll have to take a moment here to uh, ask you to listen to me and thank and buy products from one of our wonderful sponsors at Source Elements. They're the creators of Source Connect. It's a tool you need at this point. If you're at that point in your career where, first of all, people are asking for Source Connect, well, that's a no-brainer. But B, if you're trying to get the attention of an agent or jobs that require live real-time uh, direction and live real-time recording, this is a tool you want to have in your tool belt. You can get a demo right now. I mean, you don't have to have a reason to have it today. You can at least get the demo going on. Go over to source-elements.com and get a 15-day free trial. Get it ready to go. Get the iLock thing going on so you can use the software. Don't have to buy a little iLock key to use Source Connect standard. Um, once you have it up and running, You'll feel confident. You know how it works. You'll know be you'll be ready to go. And then when the day comes, you got that gig. You can purchase the license online. You can pay for it outright, or you can do a monthly st installment plan, um, which is actually a subscription. So when you do that, you get ongoing support throughout the entire time that you're paying for the subscription. So give it a try. Go over to Source Elements. That's source-elements.com. Get the trial. And uh, if you have a chance to tell them uh, that we sent you, we'd really appreciate it. And we're back. God, I love doing this show. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when we get that kind of engagement from the audience. Yeah. It makes it a lot more rewarding It, for it us. really does. Uh, next week on this show, I'm not exactly sure who our guest is next week. Because we're not on next week. We do the tech talk again next week. And then... We have another live we guest. We've got a few people li lined up in, in in the queue, but we're getting them yes. confirmed. So That's stay right. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, well, we'll be letting you know about that. Uh, who are our donors of the week? 
let's go take a look. We uh, we have a lot of folks who donate on a regular basis using our YouTube link. It's right on the website, and they can subscribe and send these in regularly. And people like, oh, well, Maria's is not a subscription. I can tell you by the amount that she mm. sent today. Nice is, of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Maria. She sent a donation. Um, Andrew Kaufman, he's a subscriber, sends a little bit every every month. Rick McIver, thanks, Rick. You know, I think he probably sent us a little bit of money because we answered his question. Which what a is, guy. You know, we appreciate really, it. Yeah, it's like a little tip. We thank, thank you. Uh, John Griffith, uh, Martha Kahn. Hi, Martha. Saw her at NAM, by the way. Yes, we did. Martha. That was fun. Um, Shana Pennington Baird. And I'm going to say it again because she's here. Shana Pennington, Pennington Baird. Baird. <laughs> Shana. <laughs> <laughs> that name, man, that's, that's a pain in the neck. <laughs> What's the. Are you waving? Oh, because <laughs> our, our technical director is waving to herself. <laughs> I think we've used up the oxygen in the room. Antland Productions. Uh, <laughs> Andrew Kaufman. I already said his name. Joseph Valentinetti. Um, Stephanie Sutherland. And Diana Birdsall. All right. All names that we've seen many times before. We thank you for your ongoing support. Yes. Hey, show us your booths. Yeah, like, we want some new ones. Whose palace is this behind us today? I yeah, think. this is this is Mike McCall. Uh, did his studio maybe five or six years ago in the Studio City area. It's it is awesome. Uh, the Almost best as thing, nice as this. The best thing about it is the boot, the the desk, which you can't really tell from this, but the desk is like right in the middle of the room. <laughs> you can walk entirely around it and never trip on a cable because. Everything comes up from the floor in the middle. That's the way it I should just, be. I, this is the coolest space. But anyway, yeah, that's. But you guys should send in your your photos. Send them in landscape and try to get them Not portrait landscape. Uh, enough lighting so we can see what's in the photo. We got a couple in there. Sometimes they're really dark, kind of hard to make out what's in the shot. And I know it's not easy when your studio's small to right. get an image that looks good. But um, Keep trying. We'll, we will use the ones that uh, look good. Yeah, send them into the guys at vobs.tv. Uh, also, um, we're on alternate live alternate Mondays now. So, mm-hmm. you know, we do what we do our uh, our live taping on the first Monday generally, and then the third third Monday, and then we yeah. run our tech segment, the tech talk, right on the other Monday. Um, but if you come in live, you'll see both as we tape them together, as right. we did tonight. Exactly. Uh, and if you want to be in our studio audience, like these fine people are tonight, let's have that audience cam shot again. Yeah. You could be here. Same thing. Right to the guys at vobs.tv. Uh, we need to, of course, thank our sponsors like Harlan Hogan's Voiceover Essentials. Uh, we also have on the tablet. You remember their Voiceover Extra. <laughs> At source elements of uh, vo to go go uh, dot com and voiceactorwebsites dot com and of course J Michael Collins demos great guy I should have memorized that by now after a couple of years we've had the same slew of sponsors for a while which that's is true very amazing yeah. we also need to thank the Dan and Marcy Leonard Foundation for the betterment of live webcasting our it's producer Catherine all the time. I know uh, producer Catherine Curd and Mike Merlino for doing great chat room duty. thanks Mike he's getting the hang of that we really like that yeah. and uh, of course our amazing technical director who's just got it together <laughs> she's dialing and she in. likes the wave to herself uh, Sue Merlino <laughs> we really appreciate yeah. that uh, and of course, Lee Penny simply for being Lee Penny. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. Uh, you know, this isn't an easy business and we're here to help you out. And what we really want to do is make you sound good because when you sound good, you is good. I think that's the way it goes. <laughs> anyway, we say it differently. This doesn't really matter. I'm Dan Leonard. <laughs> I'm George Whittem. And this is voiceover body shop or VO BS. Have a great week, everybody.